Are you interested working here in Singapore? Or do you want to know how stressful it is working here? Stick around and I'll share my experience, okay? Yeah! Okay, I'm here at the Changi Airport because I'm going back to Cebu again for a just a short trip and uh, Today we're gonna discuss about some important topics that you need to know when you're working here in Singapore I've been working here since uh, 2010 almost about close to nine years now and I've only worked for three companies when you talk about three companies you will have different levels of stress here okay so let me start up with my first job so if you saw my video about how I got my job here in Singapore there was a situation during that time that I was not able to get that interview for an IT personnel so I end up with a music school company I got a lot of job description there first was the front desk executive guitar teacher and slash um, IT support well, it's kind of challenging during that time because I was working with one off day from Tuesday to Sunday. So my rest day is only Monday. So we start work at 9. We close the school at around 8.30. Almost 12 hours. Most of my work there was uh, guitar instructor. So there were about 30 to 40 students that I have. So each of them is scheduled every hour. We need to handle from different ages from 6 or seven years old my oldest student was about 53 50, 55 it's challenging right so you have to be flexible uh, one unforgettable experience with my students is that there was this one student of mine that he's an elder i could never forget the different guitar collection that he has so he showed me every time we have class this kind of guitar is a collector's item he was able to perform his recital yeah uh, about my co-workers, it's also challenging at my end because all of them are um, Malay Singaporeans. Their dialect is in Malay, but there are only a few Chinese, but most of them are Malay. So I have to cope up with some of the words, but slowly I was able to, uh, to grasp some of the words there. And about the job, is a middle stress kind of job because it's just long hours, you know, from 9 o'clock to 8.30 and if we close, we arrive home around 9.30 or 10 o'clock. So that's the only challenge that they have. You need to deal with different personalities, different people. Yeah, that's the kind of stress level that I was facing during that time. We're gonna rate it from 1 to 5. Stress level probably is just around 3. Okay, from, from one being the lowest and five being the highest, so about, about three, middle. Yeah, that's uh, my experience there. Well, we got a little bit of situation. Uh, so, uh, the footage on my, my second job there, when I recorded at the Changi Airport, was not found on my memory card. I don't know, was it deleted or not? Oh, well, um, just don't mind a dog there. Probably a dog doesn't like me. <laughs> well, let's talk about my second job. My second job was finally an IT desktop support because I wanted to move from my current job, my, my previous job, which is the, uh, the music teacher, to a, to a desktop support or an IT personnel. The thing there, it was uh, I was working as desktop support, handling about 1,000 plus users. I have to go to different users and troubleshoot with their computer, set up the computers from desktop to connectivity and everything. Make sure that the desktop is working. With that one, um, I felt so stressed with the people there. Uh, They're very demanding. You can't help but think of work every time you go back home. So work just keeps on um, <laughs> hunting you at night. Um, every time you wake up in the morning and you you think of work, by the time you go home, you still think of work. The stress level there is quite high. And before I applied for that job, I was working with, with the previous company. Then at the same time, um, trying to send out applications. And after I was hired with the new one, I gave them about 30 days for transition period. So that you will be professional in uh, your transition from your previous company to the new one. With the, my experience there, with the stress level, 
I got hair fall, I got a lot of dandruff, um, I got black eyes and uh, it's unhealthy for me. So I decided to transfer to another company. So if you want to know how I did it, you can just refer to the link here or link below for the procedures and how I applied for another job. If I want to describe the stress level for that one from 1 to 5, the stress level will be 5. So that's the most stressful job that I have there as the uh, desktop support personnel. So uh, let's get back to the action with <laughs> the next job that I had. Before I start with that one, um, I quit my, uh, my second job because uh, of the stress level there. So um, I can't take it anymore, uh, this is what I mentioned. Uh, it's not healthy anymore. So when I got my uh, third job, I applied still the same, the, um, the procedure that I had before, like um, go to job sites and uh, submit applications. Then uh, once I got the interview, then uh, got the contract, then uh, slowly exit my second job. Well, uh, the current job that I had now is still an IT personnel but uh, not so much with the desktop support I've been with this company since 2013 I'm turning six this year I'm very happy with this uh, company this company helped me a lot especially with uh, what had happened to me so um, they were able to help me with the finances and uh, reimbursement of all the expenses that I had when I had my, my accident yeah well I'm very thankful for the management of this company for my co-workers, most of them are locals here. In other departments, there were some Filipinos there. The job here is not so stressful as uh, the previous one. I can just rate it as about from one to five. It's just around three. Just have to make sure that you're able to deliver what's been required with your job description. My work starts at eight and ends at five. And sometimes we extend around six o'clock if there are some things that we need to finish. When we talk about the compensation of the company, uh, well, the company pays a reasonable compensation. I'm very thankful. And also, I'm going to talk about some experiences with my friends when uh, about their work. I have one friend that's been working in a retail store. The work hours is about, uh, he starts at 9, uh, 8 in the morning or 9, then ends up sometimes at 11. So it's more than 12 or 13 hours, 14 hours. It's way more stressful than my work. Sometimes we cannot, we cannot complain if the management asks us to extend our, our work hours. So um, yeah, they're just some manager time and your stress level when you're uh, working here in Singapore. Tonight, uh, I have a special friend. She's my colleague in McDonald's before. We got Priscilla in the house. Yay! Welcome to Singapore. <laughs> so, oh, so what are you doing here in Singapore? <laughs> oh, lag, lag, lag. Okay, did you enjoy your stay here in Singapore? Las, las. <laughs> <laughs> so it was uh, great seeing you here. And for how many years? <laughs> More than 10 years, yeah. I think uh, we're still very young and we were still very young during that time. But now we were still once young. Young looking. <laughs> young looking. <laughs> okay, all right. So um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, all right? I see you next time in Cebu, okay? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go straight to my gate now because it's almost, almost about 1.15. Hi, yes. All right, hi. So what's your name? Abby. Abby. All right, Abby. Thanks. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Bye. So I'm just go going straight to gate 8. Uh, we discussed a while ago about the job here. Well, it's kind of fun at the same time, kind of tiring. But uh, you just have to endure every time you start your day, uh, get things done. I'm going to gate 1. Well, long way to go. Yeah, see you there. Okay, all is set after uh, the check-in and boarding and going straight to the plane. <laughs> I thought I can make it. 
because I was uh, talking to a friend there. I didn't know that the boarding is uh, already 1.45 and it's already 1.15. But just right on time. This is my life here in uh, Singapore. So every two months, every every month, I go back to Cebu. Because now, the, the occasion now is that um, I will be attending my son's birthday, Dustin. So she, he requested that I'll be home for his birthday. Because sometimes I cannot make it on his birthday. But now, I'm coming home for his birthday. All right, see you. For your safety, please remain seated and use of mobile phones is not allowed until the fastened seatbelt sign is switched off. Do take care when opening the overhead compartments. Before leaving the aircraft, please check that you have all your hand yes. luggage yes. with you. Okay, so there you have it. At least you have an idea now what is the uh, stress level there in Singapore. I'm here in Cebu now. There you have it. I'm here now at Mactan Airport. I just got off from the uh, immigration. And at least you have an idea now on uh, what's my job there in Singapore and how the level uh, of uh, stress is being handled there in uh, Singapore. Okay. And Hello. So um, if you have some questions or anything that you want to ask about uh, jobs there, about, about me, about my experience there, just type in the comment section below and feel free to ask and just try to clarify some things. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And if you like putting a like, click the like like button and also if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos just click on the notification bell don't forget to follow me on instagram player underscore bustilio and it's a good morning today because it's already 5 20. for those of you who are watching thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next upcoming vlog my friend is waiting outside yeah bye <laughs>